good morning everyone uh, now we are going to uh, start a valuable uh, session with the title of uh, health and medical literature searching uh, we have participants joining today from many organization i warmly welcome you all to the session this valuable session organized by the information and public relation committee in SLLA. Okay, uh, let me introduce today's resource person. Today's resource person is Mrs. Dilhani Munsingha, Senior Assistant Librarian, Postgraduate Institute of Medicine, Sri Lanka. Dear Madam, uh, this is over to you. Thank you, uh, Ms. Hansa Mali, our uh, convener IV, IPRO Sri Lanka Library Association for your kind invitation. Um, uh, that, uh, that is a great honor for me. Uh, thank you very much. So I will start. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining this Zoom lecture on health and medical literature searching. Today, I will be discussing the importance of literature in medical and health research and providing effective strategies for conducting a comprehensive literature review. In the field of medical and health related research, whether it is carried out for personal interest, educational purposes, or any other reason, literature plays a critical role. It serves as the foundation upon which our research is built and enables us to make informed decision in our professional endeavors. During this session, I will explore why literature is essential for researchers in the medical and health sectors. I'll discuss how literature provides a solid theoretical framework, helps identify gaps in existing knowledge, and enables us to build upon previous research. Furthermore, I will be sharing effective strategies for conducting a literature review. I will discuss various search techniques, database selection, and how to critically evaluate and select relevant sources. By the end of this session, you will have a better understanding of how to effectively search and navigate the vast world of medical and health literature using effective searching strategies, using effective searching strategies. This lecture is not only for the postgraduate medical and dental doctors, but all library professionals and undergraduates, those who are looking for conducting health and medical related research will be benefited by listening this lecture. Intended learning outcome. At the end of the lecture, you will be able to you will be able to identify the role of literature in research, explore the main goals of a literature review, describe what is a literature review, explain the purpose of a literature review, the stages and developing a literature review, selecting the topic, setting the topic in context, looking at information, using information sources searching strategies, evaluation information sources, getting the information, organize, organizing information, position in the literature review, write in the literature review, then after that, checking plagiarism. Why I am saying this checking plagiarism and putting the references is very important during this, this our literature review because, <clears throat> because uh, most of the time in the literature review, we have to cite uh, get uh, models, um, formulas, and other statement uh, to um, develop the literature review. So, uh, checking plagiarism is very, very important uh, in the literature review. Uh, so, we will move to uh, next slide. Uh, we will discuss about the role of literature in research. Literature helps researchers formulate a workable and reader-friendly research topic by providing valuable insights and context. 
it provides a solid foundation by offering a theoretical background and establishing the knowledge base for the chosen field of study. Literature helps researchers gain a comprehensive understanding of the existing body of knowledge in their discipline before beginning their own research project, demonstrating their familiarity with previous relevant research. By reviewing the literature, researchers identify any existing research gaps in specific areas, helping to shed light on areas that require further exploration and providing a direction for the future research. That is why most researchers come to the library and seeking, asking scholarly articles and seeking um, uh, the thesis, dissertation, case studies, portfolios, some literature, because um, they have to make aware what are the research carried out by previous researchers and the main objectives, what are the gaps between that. So uh, the, by going through the thorough literature only, you could be understand what are the research gaps and existing literature and can update your research proposal and even choose in the your research topic. Literature also plays a crucial role in designing key research components, such as conceptual frameworks, guidelines, questionnaires, and hypotheses, both qualitative and quantitative research methods. It helps in formulating research questions and setting the stage for the investigation. So uh, most of the time we can see medical postgraduate trainees and uh, they uh, most of the time come to the library and seek for validated questionnaires uh, because they have to uh, go through the, to develop the questionnaire. They have to understand, they will be see, uh, looking at some dissertation, some booklet, some extra NXS have been provided by previous research, researchers. So those things they have to um, understand. Uh, so uh, we can say that literature is an indispensable tool that helps researchers in various aspects of their work from topic formation and the theoretical underpinnings to understanding research gaps, designing research components and guiding future directions for research. So we will discuss about the main goals of a literature review. So providing background for a proposed research topic. Literature is utilized to establish the context and foundation for the chosen research topic, offering a comprehensive understanding of existing knowledge and setting the stage for the proposed study. Demonstrating familiarity with previous relevant research. By reviewing and citing previous research, researchers show their knowledge of the field of field and establish credibility, highlighting their awareness of relevant studies that inform the current research. This citing previous research is very, very important because that is, uh, we can understand, that is respect and uh, acknowledge within the content, citing in the content uh, to the the previous authors. Evaluating the depth and breadth of research. Through a literature review, researchers assess the extent, uh, extent and scope of exist existing research on their proposed topic. This evaluation helps in identifying the gaps and opportunities for further investigation or exploration. Determinant remaining questions or aspects needing research. By reviewing the literature, researchers can identify any unanswered questions, unresolved controversies, or areas of limited research, thus guiding the direction of their own research to address these gaps. Maintaining a reciprocal relationship between literature review and proposed research. The literature review and the proposed research project are closely intervened. The literature review informs and shapes the research questions, methodology, and objectives, while the proposed research project contributes to the existing body of knowledge by addressing the identified gaps. 
So we can see the use of literature in uh, research allows for providing background context, showcasing familiarity with previous research and evaluating existing knowledge and identifying research gaps and establishing a reciprocal relationship between the literature review and the proposed research project. So we will move to next slide. So we will discuss about what is a literature review. A literature review is a uh, a literature review is a comprehensive and critical analysis of published inf information within a specific subject area. It involves thoroughly examining the evaluating section uh, of the existing body. Imagine you are interested in learning about the effectiveness of a particular treatment for a common disease that, like a diabetes mellitus. <clears throat> Instead of reading every single published literature on diabetic mellitus treatment, a literature review helps you to find the most reliable and relevant information. You would start by searching for scholarly articles, guidelines, uh, book chapters, studies that focus on diabetic treatment. Once you have gathered a collection of sources, you would examine each one carefully. This involves reading them thoroughly and critically analyzing their methods, their data, and conclusions. After going in, um, through a multiple sources, you would summarize the main findings and arguments of each study. For example, you might find that some studies suggest that a certain medication is effective in, effective in controlling blood sugar levels in diabetic patients, while others may argue that lifestyle changes and diet modifications are more important. By doing this critical analysis, you would gain a comprehensive understanding of the existing research on diabetic mm, treatment. You, you would also be able to identify any gaps in knowledge, such as areas where more research is needed. So ultimately, the goal of a literature review in the context of health and medical literature is to provide a summary and evaluation uh, of the current state of knowledge on a specific topic. This can help researchers make informed decisions and guide future research. We will move to the next slide. So we will talk about what is the purpose of mm, the purpose of a literature review. A literature review. A literature review helps the reader understand what is already known about a specific topic and the strengths and weaknesses of that knowledge. It brings the reader up to date with the latest research in the field and presents different perspectives and viewpoints on, on the topic. Imagine you want to learn about particular subjects such as effects of social media on mental health. A literature review would involve examining different studies, articles and books related to this topic. By doing so, you would get a sense of what researchers have already discovered and what they consider as the strengths and weaknesses of this knowledge. For instance, you might find that some studies suggest that excessive use of social media can lead to feelings of loneliness and depression. On the other hand, other studies might argue that social media can provide a sense of connection and support for individuals. By presenting these contrasting perspectives, a literature review helps familiarize the reader with different viewpoints and allows them to form a comprehensive understanding of the topic. It also helps identify areas where more research is need to, needed to fill any gaps in knowledge. A literature review helps inform the reader about the state of research in a specific field, highlights different viewpoints, and acknowledges strength and weakness, weaknesses of the existing knowledge. So, 
uh, literature review. I will um, tell briefly what is a literature review. It is provide a context for the research. It is justify the research. It is enables the researcher to learn from previous theory on the subject, illustrate how the subject has been studied previously, highlight flaws and outline gaps in previous research, and finally, this literature review help to refine, refocus, or even change the topic. You may experience that your examiner, your supervisor, your reviewer might have been instructed you. Uh, yes, uh, this has been conducted previously. There is a similar article um, as like this. So you have to thoroughly go through the literature and you have to update accordingly. So that is why thoroughly literature review is very, very important to identify uh, to help refine, refocus, or even change the topic. <clears throat> so once we discuss about, about the stages of developing a literature review, first thing is selecting the topic is very, very important. Either you are a doctor, you are a librarian, you are any professional, any undergrad, if you want to conduct a research, you want to, first of all, you have to select the topic. Then so, uh, setting the topic in context. Then looking at information sources. Then using information sources, using searching strategies, effective searching strategies. Then getting the information, organizing information, position in the literature review, write in the literature review. Then after that, you have to check the plagiarism. After that, put the citation and references. So once we uh, talk about the selecting the topic, for a suitable topic, you have to consider the following. Can information, get, uh, can, can information be gathered locally? It is important to consider if you have access to necessary resources uh, and information locally, if the topic requires data or resources that are not readily available in your local vicinity, it may pose challenges for your research. Are you in a position to travel use various sources? Some research topics may require you to travel to different locations to gather data or access specific sources. If this is not feasible for you, it can limit uh, your ability to conduct in thorough research. Thorough research. What are your interests and you will this interest be maintained for the duration of the research? This is very important. It is crucial to choose a topic that you are genuinely interested in and passionate about. Research can be a long and demanding process. So stay motivated throughout is very important. Who will be interested in this research? It is essential to consider the potential audience or stakeholders who would be interested in your research finding. This can include academia, industry, professionals, um, policymakers, or general public. A topic that appeals to a broader audience can have a more significant impact. Is it sufficiently interesting to keep the author working for the next two, three years? Research projects often span several years. So it is crucial to select a topic that will maintain your interest and enthusiasm. If the topic becomes monotonous or interesting to you, it may negatively impact your motivation and the quality of your work. By considering these factors, you can choose a research topic that aligns with your resources, interest and long-term commitment Ultimately, increasing your um, chances of the conducting successful, uh, increasing your chances of conducting uh, successful research. So we will see uh, setting the topic in context. When placing your topic uh, in context, it is often uh, useful to think about uh, following. What is the scope of topic? What is the purpose of the research? Who is the intended audience? What is the time period? What is the geographical coverage? And what are the relevant disciplines? 
So as said, most of the time, library professionals, most of they are these uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary sources. So looking at information, so primary sources, these are original sources for information that provides first-hand accounts or direct evidence of an event, topic, or research. Examples of primary sources include research studies, interviews, diaries, letters, speeches, or official documents. Primary sources are essential for conducting original research and forming your own interpretation. Secondary sources. These sources provide an interpretation, analysis, uh, or evaluation for primary sources. They are created by someone who did not directly witness or experience the events or research. Examples for secondary sources include scholarly articles, textbooks, review papers, and commentaries. Secondary sources help you understand and digest the information present in primary sources. Treasury sources. These sources compile information from the primary and secondary sources and provide summarized and general overview of a topic. They are usually more accessible and provide a, a, provide a broad perspective on a subject. Examples in treasury sources include textbooks, encyclopedias, handbooks, or introductory articles. Treasury sources are often used for gaining a general understanding or background knowledge on a topic. It is important to consider the type of information you need for your researcher, research or study. Primary sources are type, typically uh, the most valuable when conducting original research, while secondary and tertiary sources can help provide context, analysis and broad understanding of, of a subject. Using a combination of primary, secondary and tertiary sources can contribute to a well-rounded and comprehensive research or study. <coughs> So library professionals, they must have yeah, this thing, primary uh, and secondary sources. So we have to remember one thing. When conducting research, it is important to keep in mind that not all relevant information is published or readily available. You may need to go beyond published materials and seek interviews or communicate with authors directly to access unpublished documents or gather additional insights. Not all sources of information will be equally relevant to your research at all times. Depending on your research objectives, some sources may provide more valuable and pertinent information than others. It is essential to evaluate the relevance of each source based on your specific research questions and goals. Discipline, specific sources play a crucial role in gathering information relevant to your specific field of study. These sources are tailored to the subject area you are researching and can provide insights and data specific to your discipline. It is important to identify and consult such specialized sources to ensure you have a comprehensive understanding of your topic. Both uh, formal and informal uh, sources uh, of information have their own merits. Informal sources can include personal communications, conversation or informal discussions with experts and practitioners in the field. These sources can provide valuable knowledge and perspective not found in formal publications. Meanwhile, formal sources such as journal articles, book chapters, reports undergo rigorous evaluation and peer review processes, ensuring their reliability and credibility. By taking into account this consideration and utilizing a combination of sources, including formal and informal, published and unpublished, discipline, specific and general sources, 
you can gather a more well-rounded and comprehensive understanding of your research topic. This approach allows you to access a wider range of information and perspective to support your research objectives. Um, using information sources. So I will be discuss this um, theories uh, and uh, then after that uh, showing the, you, the searching strategies, we will move to practical session. So this, uh, this slide shows that using information sources. When retrieving information from different sources, it is helpful to have a systematic and structured approach. This will save your time and ensure that you are thorough in your research. Developing a search strategy is very, very important because it provides an overall structure or plan for your search. <clears throat> it helps you organize your thoughts and determine the best approach to find relevant information. A search strategy involves deciding where to search, what keywords to use, especially in medical uh, people, medical uh, professionals, they have to use um, in the keyword international recognized medical terminologies. And what criteria apply when evaluating the sources you find. <clears throat> Having a search strategy also benefits you in the long run. It creates a record of your search history, which is useful when you need to refine or change the re or focus your searches as your research progresses. It helps you keep track of what databases or sources you have already explored, which saves you from duplicating your efforts. Additionally, it allows you to reflect on your search process and make improvements if necessary. For example, let's say you are conducting a literature review on the effects of exercise on mental health. Your search strategy may involve searching specific databases or academic journals using keywords like exercise, mental health, benefits and effects. You may also apply certain criteria to filter and result, <coughs> filter the results, such as selecting the article published within the last five years or focusing on studies conducted on adult populations. By following a structured search strategy, you can effectively, efficiently review relevant information, re relevant information, reduce the chances of missing important sources. Your supervisor, your reviewer always say that why this very, very important local uh, documents uh, you have been uh, not used because um, you have to go through a thorough re uh, literature review. So once you do a thorough literature review only, you may find relevant um, scholarly articles. And keep a record for your search history. This helps to ensure that you research it, your research is comprehensive, well organized, and adaptable as your progress. <clears throat> so, as you all aware, we will move to this. Let's break down some common mm -hmm. searching techniques in a simple manner. Uh, so, simple searching. You all make aware this simple searching. This involves entering keywords or place directly into a search engine or database to retrieve relevant results. It is a basic method to start searching for information on a particular topic. Once we go to the keyword searching, in this technique, you, uh, you use specific words or places that are likely to appear in the documents or sources you are looking for. It helps narrow down your search to more relevant results. Uh, if you are a doctor or health related, or if you are a researcher, if you use PubMed, 
the medical subject heading is very useful to identify international recognized terminologies attached to uh, that uh, subject. Or the title subject, these are specific search fields that allow you to search for information based on the author's name, title of the document or subject of the material by using these fields. You can target your search more effectively. Advanced searching. We will do uh, using this advanced searching, we will do as practice. Advanced searching. This technique involves using specific search strategies to refine your search and get more precise results. Some advanced search techniques include truncation, using a root word and an asterisk to search for multiple variations. Wildcard characters, using symbols to represent unknown letters. Boolean Roger operators, that is the most famous you know, search, searching strategy used by many people, such as and or not, to refine search results. Praise searching, enclosing a praise in quotation marks to search for the specific praise. Proximity searching, searching for words that occur near to each other. Field searching, limit your search to specific fields within a document and limiters and filters such as state, range, language, publication type to narrow down your results. By utilizing these techniques, you can improve your efficiency and relevance of your searches, ultimately helping you to find the information you need more effectively. Remember, practice and experimentation with different techniques can help you to become more proficient in conducting searches using this truncation wildcard while um, applying to your research, uh, research articles. So truncation, as you all make aware, uh, while we see a PSY psycho, it will retrieve an asterisk, it will retrieve psychology, psychological and psychologist. And wild card also that some uh, word is if you are not make sure so you can this wild card <clears throat> either women or woman. So these boolean searching operators are very very popular among our professionals. So and no not. It retrieves record containing both Sri Lanka or either both two concepts. To combine two concepts, even uh, three concepts, you can use an Boolean operator. O, O, nose bleeding or dystaxis. Sri Lanka or India. It retrieves all records, the both terminologies. Not. Not. That is exclude. So we can at the same time, we can do, we can do nesting. In the PubMed, let's say you are conducting search in PubMed, popular database for medical and scientific research literature. You want to find articles that explore the association between smoking and lung cancer in a specific age group. To perform this research, you can use multiple Boolean operators, such as and or not together. Combine different search terms. The Boolean operator, the Boolean operator and ensures that both terms and presence in the search results. While the operator or broad, broadens the search to include either term. For example, search query could be smoking or tobacco use and 
lung cancer and adolescent or young adults. In this example, we are looking for articles that have either the term smoking or tobacco use in combination with the term lung cancer. Additionally, we want to focus on the specific age group so we can include terms adolescents or young, young adults using O operator. By using these Boolean operators and strategically combining search terms, you can refine your search to retrieve articles that specifically address the association between smoking and lung cancer in the desired age group. Keep in mind that the search order is important when using multiple Boolean operators. In this example, the search will first find articles containing either smoking or tobacco use. Then it will narrow down the results to articles that also mention lung cancer and lung cancer. And finally, it will include articles that mention either adolescents or young adults. Disorder helps in structuring the search and reviewing more relevant articles. This is how we are going to do the search in the PubMed. So I will show it to you how to do it. So it is, you can see the retrieval results is very few by giving once we use these uh, Boolean operators, uh, effective searching strategies, we are not, it's not apparent retrieval, uh, the millions of paper, thousands of paper, where uh, the articles related to your requirement will only be um, pop up in the, uh, your database. So using effective searching strategies is very important to conduct a good literature review. So phrase searching, we will discuss about the phrase searching. In the field of medicine, uh, phrase searching medicine could be searching type 2 diabetic uh, management. Like uh, we have to always put the inverted comma. At then after that, um, uh, this can help you to find a specific guideline, treatment options and lifestyle modification. Recommend, recommended by effectively managing type 2 diabetes. You have to always, once you do a phrase searching, you have to put the, uh, the quotation mark and put the uh, word. Then it retrieve only that required um, articles. You can see once you put only this um, phrase searching, only you uh, retrieve 4,400 um, uh, 23 articles. If you are not using these symbols, what will happen? Thousands of paper will retrieve to uh, in the public. So when you do practical, uh, you can see without this phrase searching and the normal searching, <coughs> how it will be retrieved the documents. And then we will move to Proximity searching. This is very, very important. Now, proximity searching is available in PubMed 2. <clears throat> proximity searching is a technique used in databases or search engines to find results where two or more search terms appear close to each other in the text. This can help refine your search and retrieve more relevant results. Let's consider a hypothetical example in a medical context. You are interested in finding articles about the relationship between diet and heart disease. Specifically, looking for information on the impact of a high sugar diet. Instead of simply searching for diet and heart disease separately, you want to find articles where these terms appear close to each other. That means, you have to seek for diet, heart disease. You can use proximity searching by specifying proximity operator, which is typically represented as a number, number representing the maximum allowed distance between the terms. For example, diet near slash, as shown in this example in the PubMed, 
you can type good search, for instance, where the terms diet appears within the three words heart disease in the text. Only one articles we have received. So you can see it is very, very important article and it will not be time consumed. Uh, by using proximity searching, you can ensure that the words diet and heart disease are mentioned in close proximity, indicating a stronger relationship between the two concepts in the article. This can help you find more precise and relevant information regarding the impact of a high sugar diet on heart disease. So, <clears throat> so um, like uh, the more, once we talk about the more search techniques, uh, let's break down some additional search techniques in a simple manner, like field specific searching. Many databases allow you to find for information in specific fields, such as author's name, title of the article, journal name, publication date, URL, and more. And language restrictions, some databases allow you to specify the language. And humans, animals, gender, or other limits. In PubMed, if these are available, relevancy ranking. And to simplify this, this concept, So there are common problems while you go through some um, internet and other things. And evaluating information also very, very important. Because evaluating um, information is very important um, because you have to think about once you go through the, uh, if you are using PubMed, or a scholarly database, scholarly articles without doing predatory accessibility, it's all right. But once you evaluate the resource, you have to think about purpose of the resource, authority, scope, currency, audience, cost, and searchability. Those things should be available, should be available. Otherwise, always you have to use scholarly articles to conduct a proper literature review. So, uh, standing of the author, date of publication, intended audience, writing style. Once you evaluate the information source, so you can see evaluating information, audio is available, video, uh, YouTube is uh, available in the PJM library website. Um, so, you can see what are the criteria. So, these things you have to think about while you do you, um, literature review and searching strategies. So shall I move for uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, for the practical um, uh, Miss Ansamali? Yes ma'am, you can. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this theory theories, um, now you can ask. Because some uh, some people they are asking why uh, you want to check the literature, not the uh, library professional. Some people they are asking about why you need to check on the literature review, play the check plagiarism in literature review because most of the time you are depending, you are uh, um, uh, you are applying uh, the content uh, published and unpublished content. So there is a way. So you have to put citation. And you have sometimes you have to paraphrase. So those things you have to do it to avoid the plagiarism. So, uh, so I will move to. Um, uh, practical session. So you can see, can you see it? Yes, yes, ma'am. This um, PubMed 
can you see Ansi? Yes, ma'am. Uh, there is a question from our audience. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the reliable free databases? I think uh, uh, asking about... It's your specialty because I want to... Um, with uh, some scopus, there are us, uh, databases we cannot uh, tell because um, uh, it depends on your specialty. Free databases. Yes, free databases are available here related to health and medical literature. So uh, that is available in our PGM library website. So once you go on, there are so many free doctors. Um, there are so many free um, uh, databases are available, open access. Um, you can get, obtain a lot of articles from that side. I'll show you it. So once you go to this um, e-resources, you can see in this is PJM library website, free open medical databases. So free books for doctors, Bioline, Bioline International, sorry, free medical journals, Highwire Plus, Irish. So likewise, there are so many um, free open source for those who are doing research attached to uh, health and medical literature. So I will move to this um, this PubMed. This is PubMed. We are just go through PubMed like this. If you cannot see, please inform me. This is PubMed. We are going through directly to PubMed like like this. But if you have Hinari, Hinari username and password, it can request from your medical libraries. Uh, so I mean, uh, I mean this, this uh, uh, Hinari. Uh, so it is very important by going through going through Hinari to it is very, very important. Google Scholar also available. Here, you can see now differently. Now I have told you, I have utilized, I have chose this multiple Boolean search operators. While go you, you go through this multiple Boolean operators and no do and no not same together. It is retrieved only 132 results. Once you do advanced searching, if you if you are attached to um University of Colombo. And if you want to do dengue, if you want to seek information in dengue, if you know the author, the famous author, then after that again you have to select author. Dengue is, dengue is not the affiliation. It's it's uh, it is um, it's a um, subject. So you have to put the author first, then after that title, then after that affiliation. It will be retrieve three results. Likewise. So 
if you want to do advanced search dengue and malaria and tube tuberculosis not i i need dengue and malaria not tuberculosis then search then after that you can see there are 2255 results so if you want to see the all uh, abstract of these articles you can see that these articles are available while you go through the pubmed inari to pubmed you can see this majority of um articles are available in pubmed so this can this article can be download so it is very important uh, by using effective searching strategies and retrieving relevant information now um the citation also of the um, um article is appear here so you can download as a nbip of we are using reference management software you can download this one um, or otherwise you can copy and paste because uh, most of the time apa only it's available so using this pdf you can download this article here it's downloaded can you see this uh, miss hansi miss hansi hello hello audience hello yes we can yes, we can see we can hear you yes we can hear you all ah, right so um uh, th this is the pubmed searching mm, thank you ayanika uh, and miss varuni i'm uh, sianika and miss varuni for responding mm, so this is the way uh, so if you want to that uh, we have told you that limitation filters likewise so you can um manage into 5 years then after that what will happen that you can you can remember that was the previous research was 2225 now it has been reduced to 830 results if you want to again um uh, if you want to um custom the range by uh, if your supervisor says no i need uh, uh, the 3 years uh three years uh, reference then after that you can request for three years then you can see only 655 results has been appeared these 655 you can see all articles majority of articles you can download it's the, because we have chosen from here abstract so abstract you can read why are this platform so uh, additional filters also you can request species human article language sex either male or female you can narrow down it to female or either male on age if you are looking if you want to do the uh, literacy literacy or reading ability among our children so you can select this and adolescents aged likewise you can um, uh, select this um, age even so it um, that the proper the very prominent article will only be retrieved in your research top uh, in your platform, uh, computer so that will uh, save your time so again i will do um that uh, um
what mm. now you can ask questions now here now we want to see now you want to look for type 2 type 2 diabetes management see what will happen without using effective searching strategies 39968 results has been appear so um, once you do the prayer searching what will happen only 423 results only appear so that is why we are saying that effective search using effective searching strategies is very very important to save your time to retrieve the proper article relevant to your research topic so you can see out of these 423, 214 articles appear free and Hinari provide 225. Using Hinari through PubMed is very, very important because you can see from 1998, 2003, the public, the chronology, you can see now these articles you can obtain free without asking anybody so uh, for the display option uh, here you can only see summary so summary is not enough to carry out your research so it has to convert to abstract then after that you can literally go through what are the required article for conduct my literature review so uh, that will um, download via this um, uh, these links and uh, do you, do, doing this cited, cited uh, this uh, you can see uh, evaluation. So this area provides you to understand how information the articles has been evaluated by um, others. So these are uh, very um, uh, scholarly uh, database, index database. This is most relevant to conduct a research to your um, uh, research to your research topic. So Google Scholar also same. You can use uh, this um, uh, Boolean search operators and other things um, like um, proximity search in even. You can use those things. Uh, so we will see how proximity searching is. Uh, uh, in the this is type 2 diabetes management using press searching so here you can see very very um, the articles has uh, the very few articles has been retrieved as we go to proximity searching um, So we need diet heart diseases. Uh, the three consecutive words we need um, consecutive words. Mm -hmm. So you we can see uh, these findings will appear. So in the PubMed even if we use this um, proximity searching, so we have to clear all everything. additional filters and things. So only one results. 
so it is very important this symbol put in this symbol is symbol is very important uh, in the google scholar even um, the reading ability uh, among children right uh, you can type that word so it retrieve the most prominent the scholarly article to your desktop so th this can be a uh, citation also has been given the citation also you can copy the nvip you can download if you are using reference management software so otherwise this can uh, uh, this can um, um, uh, download or you can copy paste this and uh, once you uh, once you use this advanced searching it is very important you can annex these annexes to your thesis dissertation or case study or either assignment so it shows it shows search history it shows searching history here once you click it you can see this all fields has been appear so you can annex this searching the strategy to your research under methodology that is compul that is not compulsory but is that but the the the, the uh, for the more information for the reviewer or the uh, reader uh, you can annex this as an annexes so uh, if you want to make aware yes we can use the uh, technique um, not only medical every uh, aspects in the google um, uh, uh, if you are using a scopus webox any any databases you google scholar you can use this searching strategy to uh, retrieve your uh, relevant document so uh, if you have any questions please ask because this is very practical session um uh, so i have i tried my best to uh, convey the message uh, to him, uh, make aware about using effective searching strategies and how the literature review is going to be conducted uh, so if you have any questions please ask after that we can wind up our session can, can i ask a question dilani yes sir, please yes sir uh, now dilani now using uh, uh, such engines like artificial intelligence for instance uh, uh, chat gpt bard or search rabbit uh, are, are you accepting those things? Uh, the other day, as I asked this question, when there's a mentors program going on, PJM, yes, are you sir. accepting uh, artificial intelligence driven uh, search engines? What is their, their status? Mm. I don't know if you understood my question. Yes, sir. Actually, I, I could understand your questions. Uh, once we go to artificial intelligence, Yes, please explain, sir, that questions. Yeah, what I'm asking is, now, uh, if I ask a DPT or a word, or there's anything called the uh, search rabbit uh, or research rabbit, uh, if you ask these uh, sites, they will immediately find me so many articles. So the other day, can you remember that the, I think, Elsevier uh, from India, two people came, and when I asked them, they said, uh, well, those things are not acceptable. But in the current, uh, you know, in this, this era, there are so many other search engines are coming like that, which is related to, related to AI. So we, we are, what is our question? Are we accepting Yeah, yeah. Uh, the chat G, once we use chat GPT, uh, by asking some uh, references and information, information actu actually we can use to get the structure and uh, some ideas from chat GPT, but some references are not actually uh, correct. 
provided by the chat GPT. You always um, given the uh, references by chat GPT and you just uh, go Google it. Uh, but that uh, after that, uh, that uh, references will not be appear because chat GPT, we cannot depend all the things on chat GPT. Um, I you can use BART instead. If you use BART, it's a, it's a Google. Uh, Google on the search engine again. Yeah, if you use BART, that will give the references as well. And if you do the that's what's called research rabbit, that will give a better uh, selection. So there oh, are. I don't I'm know not familiar. With, actually, I'm not familiar with that uh, BART um, search engine, sir. But uh, once we are familiar with the ChatGPT, my I have experienced that. The chat GPT always did not provide the, the uh, yep, correct uh, references. Yep. So yep. actually we, we can get the idea and the structure uh, and information um, from the um, AI using AI. But uh, actually uh, the, no, we have to, uh, that is, um, uh, we have to, we can't depend on that AI always. Like okay. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank sir. you for that. Goodbye. Uh, is there any questions? You can ask uh, your questions. Also, you can share your ideas with the audience. Uh, I just want to know whether uh, how to uh, how to access uh, Hinari, which is uh, that facility is provided by the PGIM. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you are as you are a trainer at the PGIM, uh, you can request uh, by uh, by going through our website. Then after that, you may get a SMS um, on our that uh, username and password. It's uh, available. Okay, in so, our so what website. I have to do is I have to send a SMS to the librarian. Or the not email to not the library. sending SMS, sir. We have a Google form at PJM website. Okay. Um, I think so. You okay, I have to fill that and uh, forward it. So then you yes. will send me the access as yes, access sir. link. Okay. Yes. Okay. How long will you take to send it? A day uh, or weeks? Uh, within uh, one two hour, we can send oh, okay. it. Okay. But you, you have that, to yeah. you have to send a PJ, You have to use PJM domain email address. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, you have to make in mind, sir. You can you you can't use this you know username and password uh, when you are using in overseas. When you are using in yeah, Novices. no, 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 not overseas. I mean, just in Sri Lanka. Okay. Only so basically, what what you say is go 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 to the PJM website and request for the Hinari access. Yes, sir, it's available like this. Yeah. yeah, so uh, uh, under PGM website, under library. Under library. Okay, okay, okay. And you have to use the PGM domain, the, our, our PGM address. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. Okay. Yes, sir. Request from library. Are there any questions? Uh, sorry, I can't hear the last one. Last sentence. You were saying something. <laughs> Request from library. A request from library. Okay, thank you. Uh, madam, we have so many chats in chat box. Okay, Miss Hansi, I will go through it. Yes, Madam. Uh, our deputy director also there. Chat GPT will not access all medical databases and searches mean be incomplete. That's true, Madam. To build up a structure and get get an idea is good, but I don't think um, our specialty is okay. I don't know whether that the medical specialties in depth details. I don't know. You can survive on chat GPT. To get an general idea, that's all right. Yeah. Yes, madam. There is another request uh, for share the PPT. All right, I will share. I will share. So you have the uh, attendance list, Ms. Tansamali. So we will share among our participants. Yes. Yes, ma'am.
that's all i think we can wind up yes uh, thank uh, you thank you madam uh, i appreciated your lecture and it is very interest interesting and very valuable lecture so once again uh, i uh, thank you for uh, conduct this uh, valuable session uh, and uh, also i need to thank uh, to slna president sir and uh, uh, general secretary madam and all the council members who support support me to uh, do this session and uh, thank you uh, you all to participate this to this uh, valuable session and uh, another day we will meet it, uh, like this uh, valuable session again thank you so much and have thank a nice you. day thank you very much thank you very much all of you participants